don't miss a beat join the notification squad by clicking that bell you'll get notified every time i upload a video and be sure to join our discord to talk and get help with your code Hey everybody, we'd just like to take a moment to thank the guys over at SkySilk who made this video possible. SkySilk is a Linux-based cloud hosting platform built for developers with plans starting at just $2 a month, and they're currently giving every new sign-up a free $100 credit to try out the platform for 60 days. You can get started in just a few clicks over at SkySilk.com. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another video of our Discord.js tutorials. So today we're going to be making a command handler. You might wonder, what is a command handler? It's quite easy. It allows you to organize your command files and have them in separate folders. So it's more easy to access and edit. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do the actual command loading code. So we can do that by either writing it in our index uh, index.js file, but we're not going to do that now. I'm going to make a separate folder and a file for that. So it's not such a mess in this file. So we're going to create a handler folder and a, a command file. Okay, let's start writing some stuff here. We need to have a commands. We need to define connection to. We need to have a commands and an alias. Uh, collection Save that so we're going to be importing FS FS allows us to read our files and stuff. We're also going to be installing This module um, you'll notice what it does later on. Require a C table, and we're gonna make a table is a new SC, and let's set heading command and a load status so you know if it's loaded or not. Uh, let's actually make the function now is client this is a function an arrow function uh read sync our commands folder which we're going to create in a second we're going to get each directory and load the commands Commands directory. Then we're going to filter file file ends with JS. Going to create a loop so it loads every file of our commands folder. File of commands. And then require the actual command for, uh, file commands there and the file so if there's a command name we're going to set our set the command name to the command file so it can run we're also going to add a row name and the load status so let's add a check mark and if there's no name we're going to add row file and it didn't load so missing something we're also going to continue the loop otherwise it it'll return an error later on and also check if there's an alias or several available. And we also want to check if the alias is, is an actual array. We can loop over and pull 
aliases for each alias client aliases set alias pool name okay so that's all we need for the loading of the files so we have that now we also want to of course run it so we're gonna or we gotta load it too so we're gonna do that by adding this each handler wire handler that's a function so you want to run that you might wonder why you loop over this because we're gonna make an event handler later on too so it's so we can remove all of this too there we go and we can actually remove this in a second so let's create a command folder and organize it into separate folders subfolders let's add an info and a moderation and we want to create our ping.js which will look like arrow function again and let's get the code from here paste it there then we can remove all of this make sure to save it create our other file which is say.js client message and arguments and then copy all of that paste it and delete that stuff so all you got right now is this in the message event clear that okay we're going to oh yeah also a smart thing to do sometimes message member returns nothing this has to do with discord.js cache and stuff so we're going to if message member doesn't exist we're going to get the member again so it's actually a variable now fetch member as such okay if there is no command or the length is no, no nothing we're going to return and we're going to define our command to load commands get cmd uh, if that doesn't exist try to look if there's an alias commands get And if there's a command found, we're going to run it to message args. Okay, we're going to try it out now. No index. And as you see now, the client is online. Uh, let's open our Discord too. It's running. And let's see if it works. There we go. That's amazing. Um, also a thingy I notice it didn't lock the table so let's add that uh, console lock table to string and now we see what's loading and what's not and there you go our bots online too thank you for watching I hope you learned something today and if you've got any questions, of course, feel free to visit our Discord server and ask your question. Bye-bye.